All right, you've seen the product, now it's time to take action. It's all about that miracle food. My man Chakra Doctor has put some of the greatest superfoods on the planet here in one bottle for you. I know we see COVID going crazy and a lot of different things, testing our immune system. This right here is a perfect cleanse and reboot, great for the immune system, and a great anti-inflammatory miracle food. Tell them Viral Hip Hop News sent you. Let's go. The next few days, man, we about to be flooding y'all again with this content, so get ready. Indeed, indeed, man. Like you said, got some great stories for y'all, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the weekend. We're going to get right to it. Y'all already know, man. Hit that like G-G-G-G. button, that five-star rating, wherever you're watching, wherever you're listening. Let's get right to work. Oh, God, um, let's start with DMX, man. Yeah. Let's start with DMX. So it was a couple days ago. I believe it was, what was it, Saturday? We got the news mm-hmm. that DMX had um, succumbed to an overdose. He had a heart attack, and he was currently in a vegetative state in a New York hospital. Um, very, very sad news coming right off the hills of Nipsey's two-year anniversary of his passing. And obviously, DMX loved by everybody in here and throughout the world, one of the greatest rappers we've ever seen. And now it's not looking good, man. It was um, a couple minutes ago. Uh, what am I? I was just reading. His ex-manager, Nakia Walker, said, adding some of Mr. Simmons' relatives had been allowed to see him in a hospital. It's not looking good. He's a truly amazing person. He walked into a room. He lit up the room. So people are saying some great things, but it's looking like, oh God, right now, what they're doing is they were testing brain function to see how much functionality he had on his own today. We should get some news on that very soon. But it just looks like we've been in a situation before where we've seen family come in and kind of pay their last respects and then plug gets pulled you know what i mean so so what do you think about what's going on right I mean, now first he's in a vegetative you know um state which means his brain is having function but his body is not moving you know we all seen the movies we know what that um happens now um tmz said they spoke to his manager steve rifkit and rifkit said that dmx was was without oxygen for about 30 minutes you know what i mean when he had the drug overdose so Dang. when you don't have the oxygen going to your brain it shuts down and begins to die so it's sad, man, to actually see this because he was one of the people that, you know, over the years struggled. He continued to, you know, struggle, you know, um, with addiction. He came out, he went back in, and now to see him in a situation where it's like, all right, we don't know if he's going to make it. It hurts my heart. But, I mean, what I can say, like you said, there's a test today, a crucial test that pretty much is going to, you know, see how much brain activity he actually still has, you know, um, in his brain's. And uh, after that, you know, they'll probably make the decision what they're going to do from there. So sad situation, though. Yeah, all we can do is just kind of continue to give positive energy toward DMX and his family. We're going to talk a little more in depth about this tomorrow with our um, our special guest. And we'll get into, because I know everyone saw the last couple of days, a video that's been circulating on social media about how he was tricked by one of his OGs at the time to take a laced, um, a wet marijuana joint. And it kind of fucked his life up from there. Um, we're going to get into all that tomorrow, man. It, it's such a complex individual, so many layers, and so interesting, man. This is a sad situation, bro. Yeah, it's a lot, man. You really, you know, not, not that it's any excuse, but with these geniuses, people, they always got some type of advice. Yeah. You know what I mean? That seems like we look at the greats over the years, you know what I mean? Whether it be a Jimi Hendrix or anybody like in the music that was real creative, they had something that they was kind of dealing with, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? A lot. And um, it's like you, they, they're invincible in music. They make the greatest music, but they can't overcome this particular demon. So whatever people do out there, I mean, you know, we grew up, you know what I mean? It's a little more intimate for us because we grew up listening, watching, being very close to DMX. And to see him going through this, we thought he, he, oh, he can't overcame that hurdle. To see him in a vegetative state, it's not over. No. I mean, anything could happen. Yeah. He, he, he'd come back too, but it's looking real bleak. Like you said, tomorrow, man, we'll go deeper into this about... You know, what went down with him in that whole situation and um, break it down for you guys even further. Indeed, man. Prayers out of DMX and his family. Yeah. A lot of prayers in your music. That for me, it's all about, you know, DMX is an icon. And uh, I just hate that we have to wait till something happen to one of these guys or to one of us before everybody really starts saying how much they care and they love you. I mean, we got to figure out how to prevent that. You know, the truth hurt. Drugs and killed a lot of our great ones. Uh, and sent a lot of them to prison. And I'm praying for DMX and his family. And I hope that people start celebrating these icons while they're alive. Imagine all the stuff that we could have prevent for DMX to help him. And I feel like hip hop needs some type of union. The NBA wow. have it. Wow. Uh, you know, 
what happened when the guy fall off? You yeah. know, after he done sold millions and millions of records, even a female, what happened? We need that. And so I think it start with education. I want to really just start educating our people and, and, and letting them see that uh, even from LeBron to Katie to Kyrie Irving, everybody that represents Black Lives Matter, when the NBA talk about they put money back into HBCUs, right, right. I want to see where that money go at. My thing is the education, if we can invest into the next generation and our culture education, we could prevent this. If you look at all the heroes and stars that we lost, I mean, hopefully God turn this around. If DMX come back to us, let's see if the people that's out here that's making noise for him, be there for him. There'll never be another DMX, he's one of a kind. So I hope that God spares life, give him, so he could be with us even longer. But I just, I'm, I, I hope that we hold the people accountable, the people that own these big companies, that's getting paid off of his music, to be able to say, let's prevent this from this next generation, this happening. Wow, you, you think they, there, there could ever be something like that? Like, like you said, like a union for rap? I, I hope we need it. Because think about it, the NBA, when they're done, they go to sports center, they can sit around. Where do hip hop go? Go back to the hood. Yo, man, this is Sam Ant, CEO of Viral Hip Hop News. Listen, I appreciate each and every one of y'all who are going to check out this documentary. Shout out to my man, Lonnie Fresh. Do me a favor, go to YouTube right now, go subscribe to Viral Hip Hop News, one of the best hip hop platforms out here right now. We also have the hub, Hip Hop News Uncensored, of course, the podcast, the baddest podcast out, the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. We drop seven days a week doing this thing 100% independent. There was not one day that I was at work on the freshman to that, but I wished I was somewhere. You know, let's talk about the Players Club because you, I, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, that's like your first major role in a movie, right? Taking over the game. Really appreciate each and every one of y'all. You can grab merch on the YouTube site. You can talk to me on on there and much more. Sam Ant, CEO of Viral Hip Hop News. Appreciate you seeing this y'all. Oh God, you the man, Cass. I spit white like a clan mask.